All right. I think this is probably the big topic of the day, coach. And this is okay. what I titled my stream. Are the 49ers at this point? Now, again, they have the draft. They have, you know, post June one guys, they can sign whatever. Maybe they make a trade. We're going to talk about that as well. Overall, though, are the 49ers right now better or worse than what they essentially entered free agency with? What do you think? I think they're worse. Okay. And 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 and, and, and it it really pains me to say this because I I my initial my, when we brought this topic up on the phone today, my initial reaction was, "Oh, they're better." They're better. But I, I reserved that. I said, let me go back and check. And I I was upset because I had to go back on my word. They're worse. Uh, right now, we don't know what's going on at linebacker. Okay? We only have one legitimate uh, defensive tackle that can stop the run. <clears throat> um, as far as Leonard Floyd is concerned as a book in over at Nick – well, with Nick Bosa – we don't know what we're necessarily going to get out of Gross Matus or uh, or um, Malik Collins. The offensive line is exactly the same offensive line that we had last year. And if you want to look at it, um, everybody relatively stayed healthy up into the last uh, up into the last game of the season and. Ending the season, the last thing the the last thing that everybody wanted to talk about was how we needed to get better with the offensive line, and we got literally no movement whatsoever. We signed everybody all over again. Um, as far as money is concerned, we've restructured the oldest players of our team, kicking the can down more. Uh, we've had some issues with losing the with losing a pick in the draft, uh, and. Instead of going to go get uh, a defensive coordinator, we outsourced a position to two guys, a failed head coach who only had one year of being a defensive coordinator and a first-year guy who's never even been close to the job. We lost uh, our GM and then replaced him with two player personnel guys instead of going to go get another, another real GM to put in the building or having enough confidence and at least one of the guys to put a real title on his name. I mean, I'm getting real Enron vibes. Like, you know, we just got to. <laughs> let me, let me clarify real quick, because TZ says Greenlaw was already out. OK, I, I think he and I or coach and I are probably looking at it. And maybe I should have clarified a little bit better. I think we're looking at it more so like one thing. What did they enter the final game of the season with? Are they better or worse? Essentially is what what we're looking at. Right. And so I mm -hmm. see that you say Greenlaw was out, whatever. I mean, I, I don't know. I I could go either way on that one. I guess he's still out, but it's no doing. <laughs> I mean, uh, so look know. at it this way. Look at it this way. You can say that the the linebacker situation is a wash, okay? But just due to our cash situation of where we are right now, we can't even get a viable option right now. You can't say that anybody who we put at the linebacker position uh, compared to Dre Lee Greenlaw is going to be a decidingly worst player. Like, it's going to be like not a – come on. Like, we're, are we going to really – like, the only thing that made me feel halfway better about um, maybe filling the Dre um, spot was getting Aziz, and that was almost kind of a pipe dream with what he got paid, right? But – that would kind of been like a one of one, like, you know, you know, kind of lightning in the bottle. You got the lateral in a guy who literally knows the culture, played the position and knows the team. But outside of that, once Aziz was out the window, you pretty much almost had to resort to the fact that anybody who played in that position was going to be worse than what Drake gives us. And then to see what Eric, the whole Eric Kendrick situation for him to kind of like jettison us and move on, you got to feel a little um, disheartened about that, and then to see what they actually patched it with, which is uh, a Devondre Campbell who is a good player, but he's just a hurt player. He just is not healthy. He's not consistent, and he hasn't played to the level of what we think about him since 2021. So, you know, we could talk about it, but it still is what it is. You know, you know what you know what I think the hardest thing to project is. 
I know I know that Wilkes is not everybody's favorite. Everybody says it was a bad fit. Mm-hmm. Staley's here, but he's the assistant head coach. The mm-hmm. actual defensive coordinator has no experience. We don't know how to account for him and his play calling and what he's going to look like. We don't know how to account for any system tweaks or changes and how these new guys fit into it. And the other thing that we can't account for on paper is a lot of these players that have been key contributors are older on this team. What do they look like at one year extra of age? Armstead kind of fell off the cliff a little bit last year, right? He couldn't stay healthy, mm-hmm. had the, the plantar fasciitis, then the meniscus tear. He wasn't, didn't look like himself outside of, I mean, he started out the season on fire. And then mm-hmm. after about three games, he didn't look like himself and things started to fall apart a little bit. He got injured. Hargrave never lived up to expectations. Now he's a year older. Is Was that a one-year thing or is he declining? We just can't account for declines that are there. So really what we have to look at is on paper. And so, yes, the player names are the same. We have to assume they're as good as they were last year, although that's impossible to say. I think... Again, the only thing I can go back to is the biggest tweak that they made was the defensive line. That is the biggest change that they made. They replaced Armstead and Kinlaw with Elliott and Collins. Okay, I mean, I I think with what Armstead was bringing us last year, we might be looking at a wash, possibly slightly worse. But then when I go to the outside and I look at Floyd and Gross Matos versus guys like Cleveland Farrell, um gregory chase Mm -hmm. young well i know that floyd is better than all those guys so i like that i don't know what gross matos brings to the table i really don't all what i do know is panthers fans were ecstatic to get rid of him they thought he was a bum i will say that i i do know that and he has had trouble staying healthy i know that as well so how does he fit into this scheme can he revive things like a cleveland farrell or so many of these other guys that Minahu who that have come here and re- revived their career and done well, Arden Key, maybe that's a possibility. But on paper, he is worse probably than the backup options they had last year. I don't know, man. I mean, I can't say the same because the topic is better or worse. I have to lean worse. I have to lean slightly. I'm, worse. I'm about to I say, man, to. you. I already came. I, I was to. the first Indian over the hill. I'm getting flamed yeah. in the comment section. That's fine. All I'm saying that's is, fine. is like I just. I didn't. I didn't. Too many what ifs. Yes, and and I did not want to. I didn't want to be on this side of the debate. I really didn't. But for for what it's worth, you can't say that we're better. We're rolling out the same exact offense. They're getting older. Um, you know, defensive line. I. I feel like we're a, a little a dollar late and a, like you know what I'm saying a day late and a dollar short with the with the defensive line, the depth that all of the depth that we're bringing in now and this isn't expensive to our team like the biggest expenditure right now would have would have would would be what Malik Collins and Leonard Floyd, um which yeah. are not necessarily breaking the bank. I mean we paid Randy Gregory fourteen million dollars last season, um you know all of the depth I just feel like they. Uh, th- 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 uh, there's a narrative that I want to talk about that's happening right now. And then I feel like if we don't bring it up, it, number one, we're not going to be able to say, we told you so. And I love, we told you so moments because we get shitted <laughs> on when we're wrong so much. Right. So <laughs> you damn right. I'm taking my, I told you so moment. I'm human. 